Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar. We're going to be looking at a couple of packages, one from Brick Trains and one from DD Bricks. Now, the one from DD Bricks should help me to get most all of the parts I needed to finish these two projects, the um, snowplow and the extra passenger cars for the red passenger train, the DB train. Uh, but let's open this package from Brick Trains first. I'm probably doing this wrong, Joey. So if you don't know Brick Trains, that's the... Um, I do the podcast over there on his channel. It's like the the fastest growing podcast. And I don't know, we get crazy views on YouTube anyway. It's on the other platforms. But uh, yeah, the one with Brian from Battery Power Bricks just passed 70... 5,000 views, which is crazy. I think it's because we think it's we think it's because YouTube's promoting podcasts. Uh, but this is something that is the uh, Brick Trains is currently the only seller. He is the only seller on Bricklink selling this, and this is the cardboard. This is just a piece of paper. It's, it's listed under paper. Um, it's actually a piece <laughs> for a set. Uh, this, this for unreleased set one zero zero seven five. The wrestling scene that you cannot sell on Bricklink because it was unreleased. But there's still an inventory and parts list. I don't know why. But uh, the, and there was another Lego Studio set that it actually was in. So uh, check out Brick. Tra I'm trying to remember to put a link to Joey. He's got. He's the only one that's got these for sale. <laughs> so go buy them. And they'll be gone. Uh, it, but when I see this, it look, I said, did Kevin Hinkle do this? <laughs> I was like, is this a Kevin Hinkle thing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's all it is. The uh, card from 10075, the wrestling scene, and the other set that uh, has this card also, which I don't remember. There's the part number. Hold on a minute. I don't know if you man, I can never focus in on stuff. Four one seven three four four six is the part number. You know, Joe, Joey sent me that, <laughs> and I just threw away my. <sighs> I need something to put this in so I don't ruin it. But uh, so we're going to say this video is sponsored by Brick Trains and the A Fool Podcast. Can you sponsor yourself? Um, but no, Joey, he does most of the work for the A Fool Podcast. So. Uh, please go subscribe to Joey over there at Bridge Trains if you like the full podcasts and vintage Lego and occasionally some trains. DD right, Bricks. DD Bricks. What do you got, DD Bricks? This is actually a small package for me from DD Bricks. I usually get these giant packages from him. Oh, there we go. All right, well, so we got the train guy. That's for that guy. This is head. There's the hat. These windows are for that. What's that? Um, this is for that. This is for that. I think the train wheels. I don't know which one the train. They're probably for both of them. And I don't remember. I think that's for the train over there. The red windows definitely go with it. Where's the... Oh, yeah, no, these don't go, definitely go with that. Let's see if I can build any of these. Joseph Olsen standing in a field Staring at the stars, talking but for real Holding an oversized light bulb in his arms As we go marching two by four out of this dream and right through that open door Joseph Olsen with that light bulb in his arms All right, so I've finished it, except for the stickers. I got my unused sticker sheet, and I did have enough to build five. I got all the minifigures, all the stickers. Oh, this is one of those. I've... Come on. 
This is going on the one by six brick. It's like I should have just put it on. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't want it to be on anything else but the one by six brick. Definitely should have put it on first. Good grief. You know what? I need to come from the top. Close enough. Ooh. So put this it's actually two different ways of applying the sticker. So there should be two different one by six bricks. Because the sticker, you can't just reverse them and it be the same. So yeah, there has to be two, two different stickers. A little higher. Oh, close enough. Good grief, I hate doing that. All right, and another thing, where did the magnet go? I had a magnet that just fell apart. Um, oh, it was stuck to this. Uh, there's the magnet part. The housing of it just cracked. It was brittle. Uh, that happened. Um, those are expensive parts, too. But here is the snow plow. Let's, let's see. Boom. The way it works is there's a, well, you can't even see it now. There's a, that's what the white band is for. It's wrapped around the Technic axle, so there's a Technic axle that goes between that that piece in the middle, and it spins this Technic axle that's holding the snowplow. So that is how it works. Exciting, right? And I got enough pieces to build um, four more, but I'm not. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna bag up all these parts individually and I'll just have four used of that with unused sticker sheet for the other copies of it. But yeah, now I got the 4533. So now I'm gonna see if I can, uh, if I did this right and I can build more cars. So that's what the uh, one by two light bluish gray and then the yellow pieces so I got my assembly line going. The chairs have the sprue, but I don't think BrickLink distinguishes between that anymore. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe they do. They definitely used to, but uh, I don't care. Uh, some people say it's important, but um, that, little, that little mold circle there, call it a sprue. I don't know what the technical name of it is. But I'm not worrying about it if it's the wrong one. Because these are mine. Well, it takes longer to build five things at a time than I thought. So <laughs> I still got a whole bunch more pieces to go. So as far as this video goes, um, you see I've started. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's going take several days. But I'm glad I got that done. Got more tipper trucks, and thanks, Joey, for the card, which I hope I don't lose. I really need to find a safe place to put this. Anyway, I'll see you guys again real soon.